I feel like I need uh, an, I always want like a little lanyard for a spring, this. Yes, a spring. Oh, I can never get one to attach to it. Well, hello. Welcome to a, another beautiful day in London town. And I've bumped into Mr. John Rogers. How you doing? Wandering the streets, he was. And we're going to a secret location on the River Rodin, which oh, I've Rodin, yeah. never been to before. Which is the, I thought you had, so I thought you'd already been down here and been to the secret location we're heading to. No. Um, but, so this, you're going to love this, Sean. This little, just... Well, I'm, this is what happens when... Let me just give you a little bit of a backstory. I saw something on Twitter only six weeks ago. Is that it? At yeah, the start yeah. of June. And I said I wouldn't mind seeing John Rogers in a coracle going down the river. That's true. And that, despite the weather, is what is going to happen today. You're going to go... So how long do you think it will take you to get to the Thames? <laughs> well, if the tides go in the right direction, about five minutes. <laughs> but this is because this is the thing I didn't look up until today, is that I had no idea how this was going to work. So I am just drifting on the tide. That's the point of this thing. You oh, get right. a seal in it, and they just set you up on the tide. But this is a bit of a posh one I can't because you because you've got uh, a roof on top. It's so. got a roof, which is very. It's got and it's got. It will have flowers. Ah, oh, I think we have to bring flowers. Would you eat those? Yes. You would? Yeah. You wouldn't think it's got pollution all over it or anything? No. Why do we need them? To put an offering to the... No, I'm going to eat it. Oh, all right. Because <laughs> I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I love a black fruit. Now, there is a bit of a drop down here, so I need to be careful. Look at that. Amazing place. I think if somewhere looks amazing in the rain, then it would look spectacular in the sunshine. Look, there's a little garden there. And there's walkways going off all over the place. Now this is not available for the public, I don't think. I think this is a private mooring. But it's an amazing place. Look at this. Dinner is served. And a little shed there as well. With a wood-burning stove. Look at this, you can even come and sit on the sofa. Now, which way did John go? He's, dis he's disappeared. <laughs> Let's hope he hasn't fallen into the water. I didn't hear a splash. Did you? Let's go this way. see him down there either I don't know where he's gone I've I've lost him well I'm so pleased that I bought some new trainers with a bit of with a bit of grip on oh, yesterday sorry, this is a healthy safety nightmare <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah this yeah. is certain yeah. Yeah. when I rang you so I think I rang you when I said what do I need to bring is am I gonna get wet right uh, hopefully not hopefully not yeah, yeah, but, yeah. we've um well, wet as in like falling in? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hope not. <laughs> no, right. Oh, okay, that's good. I didn't know if it's part of the design. That it's no, sort of no. No, you shouldn't fall in. Oh, yeah. I did, do you know what? I did zero prep for this. So I read up about the coracle this morning. Uh huh. Okay. And that's why I was like, oh, okay. Like, I'm. Because I didn't know if I'd like, be in on my own, I'd be steering it, or if you'd be in there with me. And it's like, oh, no, I'm drifting. Yeah. In a sensory chamber. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sean's getting the, the better footage than me actually because I like this actually I mean because I can be in the moment so the plan was for John to go into the coracle and for us to do a bit of filming but unfortunately we've just discovered we've got to wait for the tide so we've got two hours to kill before the tide is at, it's at the right point where he can go out and come back in because he's going on this coracle and it hasn't got a motor all he's got is a punt or I think it's just actually a stick. How would you like to be remembered? How would I like to? 
I'd like to be remembered for a man that's fool enough, foolish enough to get in a, to a coracle on the river roading on a stormy day. That's how I'd like to be remembered. I think this would be a good way to go. I mean, if this is, if this does turn out to be the case, I think this would be a good death. I would have preferred to be floated out on the roading in a thing after I died rather than as the cause of death, but you can't have everything you want, can you? It doesn't always work out the way you want it. I think the plan is is to not end up in the water. The coracle looks robust. Did you not think? I'm, I'm, yeah. Structurally, it looks sound, a lot more substantial than I thought, actually. Um, so it's yeah, it's going to be fun to be. It's, it's, Sean's been very stoic. It is lashing down, absolutely lashing down. But this is England, right? This is what it does. It rains. I'm going to see where Ryan is. I don't know what these. Uh little devices are at the side maybe something to put a boat on or something I'm not quite sure it's still absolutely lashing down so a coracle is, is is one of the oldest forms of boats around you can find examples of them all around the world it's basically a big basket that uh, is sort of big enough to um, displace the, enough water for a human to get inside and float um, but there's examples of coracle building in the UK going back to the Bronze Age and probably would have gone back even further than that. Sort of living traditions of coracles exist on the River Severn, up in uh, Shrewsbury and around Ironbridge, uh, also in parts of Wales. It's actually a, an Irish uh, design uh, from the River Boyne uh, and the Irish word for coracle is curragh. Um, so this is uh, actually the sensory attunement curragh, technically. Yeah, the tide is going to carry you upstream. It's very strong here, the tide. So it's going to carry you upstream. Um, you just got to lie there and relax. I'm hoping you don't get too damp. You probably will get a bit damp. It's not really waterproof. Eventually the tide will turn and it'll bring you back down here. Uh, yes, the raft is not the best. <laughs> there we go. Paul? <laughs> no, basically what happened, it, it, it went away from its mooring right. and then one of the some of the barrels came and moved and stuff, so now yeah. it's a bit wonky. It's a bit wonky. It's a wonky, it's a wonky raft. Basically. No, the coracle is fine. The raft. The raft. Which goes to show if you use old style materials or new style materials, which is better. Yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna get in the raft. In yeah. the coracle. Yeah. You basically have to go for it. I'd be. It's a bit. You've got to kind of just fall forward. In, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or I have to jump into it. You've got to fall forward inside. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm very soft. I'm giving tide away. <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> You're right. I committed to it. You did, you did. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm alive. <laughs> so despite the rain we've gone ahead and John is in it. He is in the coracle. And it will take him down the river. And then in an hour the river will change course. And in theory he should come back. Unfortunately, the rain has stopped the drone from being brought out. The thermos is just over there. He's got tea already. He's got coffee in it, yeah. So he's now been handed a cup of tea. Just in case he's going to be in there for a while. <laughs> so they're just doing the pre-flight safety checks. Will he come back? We do not know. At this point, they discovered that they've miscalculated, <laughs> and he will be back in three hours' time. <laughs> so John's gone down the river. He has got a paddle, though. So we're going to walk down the towpath here to see, just to make sure that everything's okay and that he hasn't gone too far.
worked onto the actual river rather than in this little side in here. And it keeps going around in circles because of the tide. There he is, he's finally starting to move now. A coracle with a roof is the simplest way of putting it and yeah the idea is that you kind of give over all of your bodily autonomy to the, the river and the forces of the natural world so you know you can uh, feel the tides taking you up feel the force of the moon taking you uh, and it should be quite relaxing as well you're floating um, it's maybe not been as relaxing today. Are you relaxed, John? I'd never be more relaxed, John. So here we are now. The guys have come along with the rope to try and pull him out because he, he's stuck in this little section here. Can't go and anywhere. The thing is, not it, John, this is what it's about, right? It's great. It's really good. Even this actually is like a really good, you know, because it's not it's just. It's a good. bit like the birthing. You know. Birthing pod. Yeah. Uh, yes, maybe. I feel like I'm, I'm going to be reborn after this. Reborn as a river rat. So tell me in the comments, where's the most interesting place you've had a cup of tea? <laughs> yes, exactly. The most interesting place you've been spinning around. Oh, it's so good. I couldn't believe it. Because I ran up here and was like worried that you got stuck somewhere, but then you were all, all the way up here. It took me like half an hour to get this far last time. When That's I crazy. How long did it take me? Like five minutes? Yeah. 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 So we're just stood here now and we're waiting for the flow of the river to go in the opposite direction. So John will end up back down at the Moorin. So we now think that the tide is simply turning, which will take John back to the Moorin. But we're just giving him a helping hand with the stick. So we do have to abandon, unfortunately, because we just can't get out of the bridge. The wind is... Uh, the wind's too strong, it's isn't it? It's not too strong wind. It's, it's yeah. As soon as they get out from under the bridge, the wind just blows me under, so... Okay, just gonna... Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah, nice work. I've been reborn! I've come That's back! That's exactly what it looked like. I've come back! Like a like a baby I've seen camera. visions! <laughs> well, I have no followers. <laughs> we're going to now start the religion of the river roading. God, my legs feel wobbly. I think I'm going to try and My legs feel really wobbly. Yeah. If I, get, I haven't got my legs. Hi, I'm John. See you later. So, how was that? Then? Andrew. Andrew, lovely to meet you, Andrew. How was that? It was great. I'm a little bit disappointed, obviously, we had to abort because it felt like. Look, look at that. So, so the tide is going, yeah. but it's just the wind just blows you back in.
So here he is, he's back at the dock. For me, like, it's like, that's quite an experience. Mm. I mean, you go, you surrender yourself to the to the tide. Yeah, yeah. And you go where it takes you. If yeah. you're going to go, oh no, I want to get to here, and you want it to be like, yeah. so you're not really, that's not what yeah, it's that's about. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So that's where it took me, and that's where I was, yeah. and the, the patience of being stuck there, and the, you know, if it is about a sensorial experience, and maybe, not spiritual, you know, I mean, like, meditative, mm -hmm. that, that was it, you know, just, Bobbing around yeah. and going, okay, what will be will be. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. So that was, yeah, I, I loved it. Ryan, yes, your thoughts. I give back. I give, I give my thoughts. On it. How, how, how is it for you? It's very interesting seeing it in very different conditions from how I went out. When I went out, it was a beautiful sunny day, not so much winds. I could just, you know, lie there as I went and came back. I will never forget that. I will never forget going up the roading on a coracle. And for me, the, the fact that what happened happened that we got stuck on the railroad bridge, that makes it almost a better story for me. It's like you surrender to the tide and that's what happened. We surrendered to the currents. And so the idea of giving up control was actually beautifully peaceful and relaxing. And it was there. Also to feel the river, to feel the strength of that river. When we tried to get out and we, you got me beyond the river and I was like, paddle, 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 and move forward and then just round to a hole you're like that's a that's the power of that river mm. really is the power of the river it confirms in a way what if the shouldn't really go in that water apart from the pollution you shouldn't that, that tide that current yeah it's pretty strong it's very tidal here. it's an amazing yeah. experience i'm so i'm so grateful to both of you actually because sean sean's replied but i'm so grateful to you ryan for going to the trouble of getting me i hope it helps promote your your project and your work and how did you feel that it went yeah, it was great. I mean, yeah. Because but the day was a bit different from the last time. You very, did. very different conditions from how I did it before. Um, but yeah, the it was interesting to see how the the, the weather conditions can affect it. And um, uh, yeah, as you were saying, how powerful that tide is. And when combined with the wind, um, yeah, you know, we, we made an effort to, to kind of get back on track um, so that the flow could continue. But yeah, the, the, the elements would not allow it. Um, so they, uh, they enforced the, uh, the ethos of the project of giving in to the uh, forces of nature. And where can people find out about you? Uh, you can go on my Instagram, uh, which is Ryan Powell Films, um, or on my website, ryan-powell.com. Uh, yeah. And it's John Rogers Walks. John Rogers Walks, or just John Rogers actually, but it's just, yeah, YouTube or it's at John Rogers Walks. And well, where the, will you be next week? I, I genuinely, and now I genuinely have no idea. I genuinely it's wherever no idea. the river takes Where, you. I think it's going to be somewhere urban and somewhere, somewhere. I fancy doing more around Islington. I fancy doing a lot more Islington stuff. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Mm.